Hello everybody, this is Ashley Jamerson coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina and today I want to speak with my home buyers and give you some words of motivation as we are dealing with this crazy seller's market and um, a lot of you are running into this highest and best multiple offer situation and getting very, very discouraged. I'm going to provide some tips to help you master and luckily get the home of your dreams because it's stressful out there. It's not just stressful for you, it's also stressful for your agent because we call the MLS, we call agents to see if they have any pocket listings and then by the time we get there, there's a stack of cards like this thick of other agents who have brought their buyers in to see those properties as well. One caveat is that I know for sure there are some live agents out there meaning um, agents who say they are waiting on other offers no and they're not or that they have multiple offers and you look on the MLS four days later and it's still active they're not really doing their clients justice because buyers who have gotten burned on multiple offers are they just don't want to deal with it if I call the agent and I say how many offers do you have and you lie and say I have two offers my buyer no matter how much um, motivation I try to get them to write an offer on your multiple offer they're not going to do it because they don't want to pay more than what they feel their house is worth now you may say well Ashley the bank will prevent you from paying more than the home is worth and not necessarily the appraisal can come in and you know it might work it might appraise but if it doesn't appraise depending on what type of loan you have um, the sellers can say you bring the difference and that's not fair to my buyers for you to lie and all that stuff so with all of that said here are some tips to make sure your offer wins first and foremost look for homes in your price range if you are approved for $250,000 do not look at homes that are $260,000 do not look at homes that are $265,000 um, simply because if they do ask for highest and best you are already maxed out at 250 so there's no way you can beat off those people who are approved for like 280 290 300 that are looking at homes in 265 look at homes that you can afford look at homes you can afford comfortably so um, again just look at homes you can afford if you know your max is this don't look above it because more than likely in this market the seller is not going to negotiate down. Second, you have to be a little flexible. If you are approved for a lower amount, let's say you are approved 100 to 180, um, you might have to give up the dream of having wood floors everywhere or um, a two car attached garage. You may have to deal with a one car attached garage. Or you may not get a single family home, you may get a town home that's just as large as some of these homes that are for sale in your price range. So you have to be flexible and you have to be very realistic about what to expect in your price range. Before, gosh, I would say like three or four years ago, I would say that um, granite was just common. Like once you hit 200,000 in Charlotte, North Carolina, you can just expect granite. That's not really the case anymore. There's tons of houses out there without granite and um, in that price range. And I don't really see it as a definite really until like 250 and still it's toss up in the air depending on what school district you're in. Um, so the market has definitely shifted strongly in the seller's favorite, uh, favor. <laughs> Um, also be pre-approved. Now, I've done lots of videos on getting pre-qualified, talking to a lender, knowing how much your payments are, blah, blah, blah. But if you have a pre-approval letter, this says, I have turned in all my paperwork. Not only has my lender pulled my credit and asked me questions, I've given them documentation to support everything that they have seen. Pre-approval trumps a lot of stuff in this market because the seller wants to buy a house, they want to move, and oftentimes their contingent to sell offer on their next house will look stronger if your offer is stronger. So they want the strongest offer as possible. Um, another tip is have your agent call the seller's agent and say, 
what closing date would be best for your client. Um, you got to keep in mind that you're buying a home, they're selling a home, but they're also buying a home. So the typical 30, 35 day close may not work for them because they may get stuck in a few highest and best offers situations as well. So see if a 45 day close would be better or a 60 day close and really work with them to make it a win-win situation. I know that um, a lot of agents just don't go that extra mile for their client and I really make it a habit to do that because when they find a house, when they walk in and their eyes light up and that's the house that they want, my job is to make sure they get that house in the best terms as possible. So um, those are my three tips. Be, a real, be realistic, be pre-approved, and then call the listing agent to see what terms the seller is specifically looking for to make the offer as strong as possible. Oh, fourth tip. There's a fourth one that just popped into my mind. The fourth tip. Um, I did this recently with a house that closed. Um, I had a general contractor who was purchasing a home, and well, he wasn't like a licensed general contractor. He's like a super awesome handyman. That's what he is. Anyway, he's very super handy, and he said, I'll just buy the house as is. So not only was he pre-approved, not only was he realistic and looking at homes in their price range, but he was also willing to buy that home as is. So that took the stress of waiting for the due diligence period for the inspections off the seller's back and it made their offer so much stronger and they won. They didn't even get involved in the highest and best because their offer was just that awesome, awesome, awesome offer. So if you have any questions, please feel free to call or text me at 980-319-3664. Visit my website, search704.com, or you can get instant price values. You don't even have to talk to me. You can get instant price values at ashleysellmyhouse.com. The address is below. I'm totally confused just now. Anyway, I'll talk to you soon and have an awesome week. Bye.